Hey guys, it is Autumn Skylar Sings here, and today I am going to be doing a video similar to the one I did a few months ago, I'll link that down below, where I was talking about where I was and explaining the um, surgery I had, and now this is kind of a follow-up, and again, of where have I been, because it's been a few months since I uploaded a video. Sorry, thirsty. Anyway, so again, since it's been about three months, I figured it was time to break the silence. Um, and trust me, I've been trying to make this video for weeks, but um, yeah, um, chronic pain has gotten in the way of it, of me even beginning a video, or I'll begin a video and then I'll just stop because I keep remaking it and I keep um, saying things that I um, don't want to say. Um, so yeah. Um, I know I just kind of like dropped that there like, yeah, I have chronic pain and um, yeah. Basically, I've been suffering from chronic pain for about a year and it started six months before my surgery and it's been six months since my surgery, so it's about a year. Um, before my surgery, I was really only having constant head pain and it was every single day is every single day. Um, it wasn't, you know, in June we found out that it was because of the carry one that I had the surgery. And it's been a few months since I made the video talking about all that. And I know that I still get a lot of comments, you know, has it helped? It hasn't, the um, surgery that I got. It has not helped the pain in the slightest. Um, sadly, in fact, it is worse than it was beforehand. It was, it's not as bad as it was when I was in the hospital, you know, convulsing. Um, it's not like that all the time, and it was never like that all the time, it was just that, those three days. I haven't had an episode like that in a while. And so it's helped that, but I am worse than I was beforehand. And I mean, that was clear from the wheelchair, but I mean, pain-wise, I am very bad. Um, and I don't mean to make this video and have it be like an, oh, pity me or whatever. I don't want you guys to think that that's what I'm doing. I just, there aren't a lot of videos on YouTube that talk about this. I mean, there are, but it's, it's not a popular topic. I mean, there's not a lot of people. And I know for a fact that there are people that are afraid to talk about this, that they feel like nobody's going to understand what they're going through. So that's kind of why I want to make a video. I mean, it's not like I'm like a big famous YouTuber or whatever, but I still want to make a video, you know, so that way someone who stands stum eh, stumbles upon my channel, like I stumble over my words, um, would have this video to relate to. And going back to me, because it's all about me in this video. Um, my pain has gone from only being in my head to being in my back, my neck, my legs, pretty much almost everywhere that pain can be, it is. And this has been pretty awful. Um, it's kept me from not only making videos, but it's kept me from going out. Um, just this past two weeks, there's um, my friend, he's in a play and I really wanted to go see it, but I knew I couldn't handle it. I know that I couldn't have handled it because I'm um, going to wear, why I'm wearing this shirt, little side story, but whatever. I went to go see Hamilton with my friend. She invited me for her birthday present, which was awesome. Um, but I knew sitting in those chairs in the Broadway theater, um, I, I came home and I was a wreck. I was sobbing. It was not good. It was horrible. Um, and I knew I, I couldn't handle it. And it sucks because I really want to be there for my friend. Any friend that has a performance, I have all their friends that are in the production. I don't know why I just said him, but I mean, it's really difficult because I can't be there for him. And I want to be. I mean, and I want to be there for my other friend. She's in there. Like, I want to be there for them. All of my friends. I mean, I don't... But I can't. 
Um, and I, I, I find myself not even wanting to hang out with anybody because I know that I might have to cut it short and that I probably will have to cut it short because I'm going to be in two pain. Two pain? Yeah, I'm going to be in two pain. I'm going to be in too much pain to handle it. And um, that sucks. It's a very, very sucky way to be living. And yeah, it has not at all helped my depression. I pretty much, I, I don't have time to think about being happy when I'm in this much pain because it's the only thing in my mind. The way that we kind of describe it, especially we, we described when I was going back into school is that it's like, it's like there's someone whispering in my ear constantly or someone always talking to me and like I can't focus because there's this going on or maybe even it's similar to like an hallucination or whatever like because you always see it is there it's distracting you and that's how the chronic pain is I can't focus on school when I'm hurting and I mean I know I say that and you're probably thinking oh my god what kind of grades does she have I have good grades but trust me they'd be a lot they'd be a lot better if um I didn't have this going on and let's see it's just diminished kind of everything if you can tell I'm getting like uncomfortable because I'm like crunching in on myself it's just uh, I'm just very upset all the time and it's so frustrating I've had to drop so many things I was in the school musical but I had to drop out because I couldn't handle it. Um, I was supposed to be going to France this summer with, it was a school trip, um, and now I can't. I've been looking forward to this trip since freshman year, but I, I can't do it. It's going to be all walking and I can't do it. I just, I'm very lost and I'm so confused. Now, you might be asking yourself, well, what about your doctors? What are they doing for this? Um, <laughs> nothing. Nothing at all. That, that's the answer, basically, is I have gotten no help for my pain. They basically keep trying to tell me that I have something called amplified pain syndrome, which I don't want to get too much into that because I'm, I don't have amplified pain syndrome. Basically, it's, um, your nerves are sending signals that you're in pain and something's wrong when you're not um and when nothing's wrong but it's it's like false wiring it's like something's messed up but that's not what's going on the reason i know that's not what's going on is because they have not tested me for anything they don't know if i have a pinched nerve they don't know if something with the surgery messed up if if i have a muscle that if my muscles are you know doing stuff they're not supposed to be doing we don't know anything because they haven't done any tests to check because they've just decided that without without checking off anything else without looking for anything else they've just decided that by default you know I have amplified pain syndrome which makes no sense sorry this is when I get heated because ooh, it has not been fun basically they've just decided since I'm a difficult case that I have this disorder that can't be cured that can only be cured by heavy exercising and that I just have to exercise and it'll feel better um no that's not that's not how it that's I don't have amplified pain syndrome exercise is not going to make me better in fact I think it like not that I don't exercise I mean a lot of exercise I feel will make me worse and why are you giving me this diagnosis when this is a diagnosis of default, if you, you have to do tests to rule everything out before you can say, oh yeah, nothing is really causing this, so you have amplified pain syndrome, that would make sense if they did that. But no, they've just decided that they're not gonna do any tests to see if something else is wrong. Why would they do that? They're just gonna tell me I have amplified pain syndrome so that, you know, they don't have to give me any pain medication, they don't really have to do anything, they can just wipe their hands of me, you know, send me inpatient back in the hospital if, you know, things get really bad. I have been, you know, 
I've had doctors that they've, I've had two different instances where they're like, yeah, the only thing that's going to help this is if, you know, go inpatient, which makes absolutely no sense. Sorry, that was a big spiel, and um, I went really fast with that, but I, whew, it's a topic that gets me very angry. And because of that, we are now trying to transfer um, my care over to Children's Hospital of Pennsylvania. They have a good rep, rep, but I mean, this place did too. So it's, um, I mean, you don't know what's going to happen. It's a coin flip. I mean, if they're going to be exactly the same or if they're actually going to try and help me. Um, and basically, it's taken about a month of waiting. We sent over my medical files. Um, I mean, we had to um, email both um, Jersey Shore as well as Children's Specialized Hospital. Those are the two hospitals I was at. It's just easier if I say them so that way I don't mess myself up. Um, and Children's Specialized has still not sent any of my um, files as, as far as I know. Um, and the file that Jersey Shore sent um, was about a thousand pages long. Funny story, they couldn't find my file, but then they found it because they didn't expect my file to be in a box. They expected, you know, a file, not a box of 1,000 pages. So yeah, and they have to um, put all of that into their system, if they w and they also have to review it and then decide if they want to take me. So that is taking a long time and has not been fun. I know that I, it's, uh, sorry. I know that that really doesn't have to do with chronic pain. I mean, it does, It's but it's more of my diagnosis, but I just kind of wanted to give a little bit of an update because that does have to do with it and basically shows that they're not doing anything to help me. So I really have no avenues to go down and thus, I've just, the only thing I've been doing when I come home from school besides, you know, doing as much of my homework as I can, um, is just lying on my bed with my heating pad and watching YouTube. That's literally all that I can do by the end of the school day. And it's not much better on the weekends. I really don't have energy, um, to do anything. The only reason that, I mean, I've gotten together with people these past few weekends is because we had to for a school project. And they're people that I love. They're, they're, you know, they're awesome people. But, I mean, if it hadn't been for that, I think that I probably would have canceled a bunch of times and just said, you know, I have to stay, I, I can't, I have to stay home. And it sucks. It really, really sucks. Because this has kind of gotten in the way of everything. And I mean, it sucks also because, like, not like anything but because for college, since I, I do want to go into something in the acting field with either um, a minor of voice, I don't really have the ability to do anything. As I said, I had to drop out of the school musical, which that would have given me a credit that I could put on a, re a resume. Sorry, I'm really messing up my words. But I mean, that would have given me a credit for my resume, but I, had to drop out so I don't have that and I mean everybody else they're doing these programs and they're doing these um, community theater things that are giving them great credits but I can't do that and I'm really lost as to what I'm supposed to do because college is right around the corner I'm a junior in high school I'm 17 I mean for God's sake I don't know what I'm going to do. And the fact that chronic pain has gotten in the way that much, it makes it so hard to try and be happy and to try and fully love myself and accept myself because my body is it's messing up my whole life. I mean, my resume could be the thing that, you know, gets me into a good college and I can't add anything to it. And besides, if I'm in this much pain, if they haven't figured it out by senior year, I don't even know how I'm going to do college. I mean, I don't, this could be what I'm like for the rest of my life. And that sucks. And 
I don't really have any avenues to go down. I don't have any answers. I don't... I don't know how to help myself. And it's a really scary place to be. I mean... This is one of the worst things that I've ever had to deal with. I mean, it's up there. It really is up there. And it's just kind of bringing me back down. I mean, it's, it's so upsetting because I pulled myself out of depression. I pulled myself out of um, my eating disorder. But, and for the most part, my anxiety. I mean, not 100%. But a good bit, it was better than it was before, but this has dragged me back down. And there's nothing anyone can do to help. I mean, there is stuff that people can do. They could, you know, actually try and treat me. But so far, nobody's tried. And it sucks because I'm not happy anymore. And I didn't even get a few months to enjoy having pulled myself out of depression. Right as, as I was pulling myself out of everything, I was in pain. It's just, it's really hard. I mean, I hate to have made this video, like, so down and dark, um, but it's just... I don't think people really understand how bad it is. And I know for a fact people don't understand how bad it is because I've, um, I've been, their ignorance has been said right to my face. And they don't even understand the impact of what they're saying or how it affects me. I know that this is like a really sad video. I mean, it's not really sad. It's just, you know, not up. So, to end things on a good note, we <laughs> are trying to get things under control. We're going to get me in a chop and hopefully things will get better. And if they don't, oh, you'll be hearing from me. <laughs> oh, God. So, yeah. Um, not really sure entirely how to end this video. I don't really want to say, you know, the like, comment, subscribe, share. That's just a weird way to end a video that's this deep and emotionally emotionally emotional ish i don't you know what i'm saying you probably don't know what i'm saying i don't even know if i know what i'm saying anyway um if you guys want me to do another video talking about this stuff um definitely will. If you guys have any questions, please don't be afraid to ask. I really want to educate people on um, chronic pain because it's really not something that's ever talked about. Um, so yeah. Um, I'll see you guys in the next video, which will definitely be a more upbeat video. And yeah. I love you guys. Bye.